They did it. Glenn Taylor isn't going to get more money. I don't know if you guys knew this, but there was reports of basically the idea was a man, Mark Lore and Alex Rodriguez, they now bought another percent of the team, but supposedly there was rumors that Glenn Taylor was crossing his fingers that he wouldn't get that Mark Lore and Ro Rodriguez wouldn't get the money because he sold the team for 1.4 and the Suns just sold for 4 billion. So there's rumors that Glenn Taylor secretly was hoping that the, the sale would fall through and he was, a, he was going to be able to get more money. But let's talk about it. This is coming from John Krasinski and Sham Sharania. And it's interesting enough to see this because there was a lot of rumors. And let's get right into it. So Alex Rodriguez and Mark Lore exercise option for second 20% stake in the Timberwolves. So Mark Lore and Alex Rodriguez have exercised their option to purchase the next 20% of the Timberwolves, continuing their three-step plan to assume full control of the franchise source both sources on both sides of the deal told the Athletic. Lore and Rodriguez had until the end of the day Saturday to inform majority owner Glenn Taylor that they had exercised the option as part of their initial agreement in 2021 to buy the team in installments. Now, they will have until March 15th to close the second 20%, which will bring them to 40% ownership of sources who spoke on condition, condition of an anonymity because they're not authorized to speak to the public about private business dealings said. And the next step will be to purchase 40% of the team by December 31st, 2023. So, with that being said, they own 20% of the team. Alex Rodriguez, you did it. You own 20% of a major league sports team. One of the big four sports teams. Good job. You said you wanted to do that. You did it. Okay. You own 20% of the Timberwolves. Good job. Now, Lore and Rodriguez have recruited other investors to join their Purple Buyers Holdings LLC which joined the Timberwolves as limited partners in summer of 2021. Details on new investors were not immediately made available. Now, Mark Lauren and Alex Rodriguez have held prominent roles with the Timberwolves and Lynx since joining the ownership group, having influence in decision-making that goes beyond what limited partners typically enjoy. They were integral in recruiting president of basketball operations, Tim Conley, away from rival Denver Nuggets to run the T-Wolves front office this past summer. summer and also were consulted closely on Link, the Lynx coach and president Cheryl Reeves' new contract extension. Both have been visible at Timberwolves games and have pledged to help modernize the franchise as Taylor looks to ride off in the sunset. The unconventional plan came together in part because Taylor was not ready to re relinquish full control of the organization and in part to give Laura and Rodriguez time to learn the NBA and get their finances in order to buy the team at a $1.4 billion valuation. From the outset, there has been speculation around the league that Rodriguez and Lore would not be able to come up with the money to close the deal. But Taylor had built a strong report with two friends, with the two friends, and expressed faith in their ability to back up their words with action, empowering Lore and Rodriguez to spearhead the Conley hire as the strongest sign yet of trust in the partnership. And the two have met all the requirements laid out in the purchase agreement. If Lore and Rodriguez miss either of the next two payments, Taylor has the right to nullify the succession plan and retain them as limited partners. Lore and Rodriguez have privately expressed confidence that people within the organization, Taylor included, that everything is on track to be completed, sources said. The three have been in regular contact about team business operations, business basketball decisions, given, giving Taylor the opportunity he long discussed to serve as a mentor for those who plan to succeed him. Taylor, obviously, you guys know, is a billionaire from printing and agriculture after growing up in the small town of Gaylord, Minnesota. While Lauren Rodriguez, you know, come a long way in terms of financially completing this deal, he's a little bit different. They're a little bit different than the small family feel that Glenn Taylor had given. And their ability to connect with Taylor and gain the influence on the franchise's decision is a significant, significant step in itself in the process of assuming control. Taylor enjoys working with them, and that has been the biggest process of advancing and just like i previously mentioned matt ishbia ishbaya who recently bought the suns actually explored buying the t-wolves before lauren rodriguez and that puts the price for the you know it just it's crazy thing about the suns went for four billion 
and the Wolves and Lynx went for a bargain at 1.5. And though the franchise's lack of NBA success outdated in a many course arena is part of the reason why the this was one of the lower ranking lower lower valued teams. But either way, Shams Ryan and John Krinsky, right, with a new television deal on, you know, coming up and expansion happening after that. The Timberwolves could be used at, viewed as a growth, you know, growth stock at the current valuation, making it easier for Lauren Rodriguez to t- attract additional investors. And obviously, additional investors have to be approved by the NBA's board of governors. Though, if the deal falls through, Taylor could theoretically bring it back to the market itself for more than the number agreed upon with Lore and Rodriguez. But so far, the entrepreneur and the former baseball star have met the requirements to keep the deal progressing. Obviously, this first season. Has not gone to plan for this Minnesota team, but time will tell what happens.